Oh, am I gonna be on TV? Oh, oh I can see myself in the camera. Yeah, yeah totally. Right. So, I can't see you yeah, happily. <laughs> Simon Newcomb was born in the town of Wallace, Nova Scotia. He is best known as a Canadian American astronomer and mathematician. His father was a school teacher who taught him how to count at the age of four. Before he was seven, he had finished his first math book. At the age of 16, he apprenticed with a quack herb doctor in Salisbury, New Brunswick. Soon after, Simon moved to the USA. Nova Scotia brain drain. What? Nothing. His first job was working for the American Nautical Almanac Office. Almanac. Oh, why would I just say Elmo? It's easier. Because <laughs> Elmo's not involved in the story. Yeah, but it's like it says like you could, like, but it sounds like Elmo a little bit. <laughs> but it looks like Elmanac. His first job was working for the American Nautical Almanac office where he fell in love with astronomy. In 1858, Simon got his Bachelor of Science degree from Harvard University. In 1861, Simon Newcomb worked for the United States Navy on measuring the positions of the planets as an aid to navigation. Radical. For his mathematical work on the motion of the moon, he was awarded the gold medal of the Royal Astronom Astron <laughs> Astronomical Society in 1874. Oh my lord, these big words. You're supposed to be a scientist. Yeah, well, I'm not a very good one. I am. Yeah, sure. <laughs> in 1884, Newcomb was appointed professor of the mathematic <laughs> Mathematics. Well, I can't say that. Mr. Kamo says it all the time. Yeah, I know, but I'm not Mr. Kamo. Okay, gotta do this again. In 1884, Newcomb was appointed professor of mathematics and astronomy at John Hopkins University, Baltimore. He spoke French, German, Italian, and Swedish. A science boy. And he wrote a number of popular science books. Newcomb Crater on the Moon was named after him. 